Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is uh, Monday. It is the 8th day of August. Today is National CBD Day, National Dollar Day, National Frozen Custard Day, which is really pretty doggone good. Remember the first time we had frozen custard? I do. We had no idea what it was. We're like, oh, that sounds disgusting. Then we tried it. We're like, that's great. Let's have some more. <laughs> um, National Happiness Happens Day. National, oh, our neighbor's going to do this. National Sneak Some Zucchini Onto Your Neighbor's Porch Day. <laughs> she, she actually did that. It just happened. A couple days ago, actually. So <laughs> she's just ahead of the game. That's all. And it's Global Sleep Under the Stars Night tonight. So supposed to sleep outside under the stars. Probably not going to do that. But just <laughs> just letting you know that it's, you know, it's the day for it. And I am so excited to continue my amazing streak of awesome guests for Movie Star Monday from Karate Kid 3, from a bunch of other amazing stuff. We have Robin Lively joining us today. Yeah. She's in a new film with her husband. We're going to be chatting about that coming up in a bit. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. New survey of 2,000 people found that three out of four of us, that's like 75%, won't judge you for licking your fingers after eating chicken wings. Why? Because they do the same thing. When presented a plate of chicken wings, a third of Americans will reach for a drummy first, but a quarter of us would prefer a flat wing. 42% of us are happier with either. So uh, either one. Give me one and I'm happy. Uh, Almost uh, 44% consider boneless wings an actual wing. So I actually like boneless wings, but I've actually ordered them. And people are like, so you got the adult chicken nuggets? You got chicken nuggets. (laughs) Good for you. They're still good. 38% would tease somebody for ordering them instead of bone-in wings. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's happened to me. Respondents said the best chicken wings are deep fried, 55%. Grilled, 51%. Tossed in barbecue sauce, 39%. Ranch seasoning, 34%. Or hot buffalo sauce, 33%. There you go. That is uh, surveys and studies and such. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. DrinkBlitzEnergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. Radio 20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. According to the old saying, revenge is a a dish served best cold. Something like that. I think I said it wrong. Uh, It seems most people prefer to strike right away, according to the study, despite the Hollywood depiction of people savoring sweet revenge after months or years of plotting. A team from uh, Virginia Commonwealth University found 58% of us would prefer to instantly get the revenge. Even if it means uh, dealing a lesser blow to the enemy. study found that almost uh, most of the 1,500 people in the survey would prefer quick revenge right away over receiving money even. So going, if I can get them back now. It depends. Yeah. Depends on what's going on and where I land there. But I understand. And you know what? Sometimes you just get angry, you know. There you go. If you want to read the study, it's in the show notes. <laughs> but uh, I think we'll move on. We, we don't know everything. But now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Dame Shirley Bassey is set to perform at a charity concert in London's Royal Albert Hall to celebrate 60 years of James Bond. The 85-year-old Welsh music legend holds the record for the most 007 theme tunes. Performed 1965's Goldfinger, 71's Diamonds Are Forever, 79's Moonraker, um, October 4th, she'll headline The Sound of 007, showcasing the iconic music of Bond. So that's kind of cool. 
That is cool. She's also uh, fronted the rock band Garbage, who performed The World's Not Enough for Pierce Brosnan's 99 flick. So there we go. Well, that's kind of cool. Anyway, she's got a lot of a lot of Bond connections right there. We've talked about this before, but you've not seen most of the Bond films. I might have said all those names wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of them. Have you seen most of them or no? Um, The early 80s stuff, nothing since then. The stuff in the 80s I did, but... Mm. Well, there you go. That's going to do it. With Sean Connery. When Sean Connery was the dude, those are the ones I saw. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. City life is making animals fat, according to new research. As urbanization causes many animals to lose their natural habitats and end up running through local neighborhoods, a study found that Although scientists have long believed that this process ends up making animals smaller, they're actually now leading to larger, more hefty critters roaming through your trash. A team from the Florida Museum of Natural History examined the body length and weight of more than 140,000 animals from over 100 North American species which pop up in cities. Things like wolves and bobcats and deer and bats and shrews and rodents and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, I added those last few. They found that they're getting bigger and fatter than their rural relatives thanks to the fact that there's more food in the area. So are they going to blame fast food on this, too? Because it's fast food that they're finding in the trash, right? Is that what's going on? It probably is what's going on. And you know what? This probably could have been and maybe should have been part of the uh, big screen, little screen. But we talked about it, I think, last week. Uh, There's going to be two hosts now for Jeopardy. So we talked a little bit yeah, about uh, uh, Mayim Balik and Ken Jennings. And again, I apologize if I'm saying either of those names wrong because I don't watch the show. And, and it's not that I have anything against it. I just don't have time. But they've both been kind of filling in. And now they're saying that we're making it official. But the, here's the rest of the story. That's why I wanted to uh, uh, tell you the rest of this because there's a slew of new programming that will expand the Jeopardy! franchise. Jennings will kick off the season in September, host the inaugural Second Chance competition in the heavily anticipated Tournament of Champions with Amy Schneider, Matt Amodio, uh, Matea Roach, Ryan Long, and more. Do you know who any of those people are? Are I, they, they must be other competitors who've done well. Apparently. In the meantime, uh, Mayam will be hosting Celebrity Jeopardy on ABC in primetime. When she takes over from Jennings in January, the plan is to have her host a few tournaments, plus the Jeopardy National College Championship, and as many weeks as she can manage while keeping on her other primetime commitment, Call Me Cat. So anyway, sounds like they're busy. Busy folks. Scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, Robin Lively from Punky Brewster, Silver Spoons, Karate Kid 3, and much, much more. We've got her on the line right now to talk about a new project she's working on. Robin, how you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm fantastic, and I'm excited to visit with you. You're going to be working with your spouse. I do that every day, the John and Heidi Show, but now you're in a movie, Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, with your husband. In the movie, he is your husband. Have you guys done that before? You know, we've actually worked together several times, but we have like a line here and a line there. We've never played a couple, so this was so such a treat for us, and we, we loved it so much. We were like, well, this could go either way. We we knew it was going to be fun, but actually it was so much better than we had anticipated. So 
um, yeah, it was so great. So in this film, Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, there's a, a really nice connection between fathers and daughters, but probably mothers and sons, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons, all of that. But in this particular movie, you two are a married couple with daughters. So I'm going to have you tell me a little bit about the dynamic that we see in this film. Oh, well, I know firsthand what that dynamic is like. So it, it was it was very much mirroring our own lives in a sense. Like our kids are, we have kids that are similar in age. They're not the same as these kids, but we've had, you know, like our son, and he's 19. We had all of these ideas for him and what we thought he should do with his life. And then it's like the conversations that we've had and realizing like the importance of like in this film to listen to your kids and know that like, oh, well, they might actually have an idea as well for their own lives. But we're like, this is what you're doing. We know what's best for you. And they're like, wait a minute, I have my own ideas. So yeah, it's been pretty wonderful and pretty cool to do this film together and, and have kids of, of similar ages but we haven't had the child that's been the alien you know or the one that comes in and is so angry and like we haven't had that knock on wood well you're very fortunate in the film you've got three different daughters and they're all completely different and i love that because that's what it's like in real life well it absolutely is yeah and i do love the fact though that like in this film my husband you know he does the right thing like the hard thing like with, the, with zoe uh the going to the party and embarrassing her but it's like you know so many times you you find parents want to be your kid's friend you want to be the friend you don't want to upset your kid but how important it is to do the right thing they may hate you in the moment but it's so crucial to do what's right. Absolutely. Again, the name of the film is Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, but mothers are super important too, aren't they? Oh, of course they are. You know, the mothers are are so important. This just happens to be a story that highlights the relationship between the father and the daughter. But, you know, as we know, the strong mothers are crucial to the dynamic of the father and the daughter. And, you know, like my, my husband is very similar to this character, but yes and no, you know, like he, the, I love so much the, the, um, the journey that he takes and the arc that he has in this film. And, um, yeah, it, like I said, it's been so true to, to our own experiences and how fun that's been for us. So like we mentioned in the film, you guys are married and in real life you're married. And like I said before, my wife and I work together every day, but this was a first time for you guys to be husband and wife in a movie. How did that change the dynamic? Was was it kind of normal or was it kind of weird? Not really. To be honest, it really wasn't. Like we work together all the time, putting each other on tape. So it's like we're working together constantly. But to have the opportunity to work together as a couple was was so great because you'll be thrown in scenes with people that are virtual strangers and you have to have this instant connection, this instant chemistry. And here we are, my husband and I, with all of these layers and all of this history together. And it was just seamless. It was so great to be able to bring that to the screen. Again, the movie is called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. We're talking with Robin Lively, one of the stars of the film. And it's on Pure Flix. So many times when you watch a movie there, you walk away with a message. What message would you like people to walk away from this movie with, Robin? First of all, it's a really fun film to watch together as a family. And as parents, we focus so much on time with our kids. And it's been so crucial in their development. And we are so proud of them. And I do believe that it's attributed to the time that we put in with them. This echoes that. Like, your lives are going to be so busy with work and this and your to-do list. You're never going to get this time back ever. You're never going to get it back. So put in the time, listen to your kids. And I think that this is the message that the film gives. I love that. And I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Again, our guest has been Robin Lively. The film is called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. It's available now on Pure Flix. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to have Help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Roman statues often made with heads that could be removed and replaced with other heads. Oh. Yeah. So they'd make a, a make, because apparently it was, you know, 
a lot easier to just change out the head. They're like, okay, well, we got a new leader, so let's just take that head and put this head. Now we're good to go. So okay. <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In many cases, ransom paid to hackers is tax deductible. So is ransom paid to kidnappers. Mm. So if somebody ever kidnaps somebody and, and you need, you know, you have to give them ransom. Apparently, you can write that off on your taxes. Okay. I didn't know that. Does that seem weird to you? It does. Do you have to ask the kidnapper for a 1099? <laughs> I'm going to need a 1099. Sorry, i got to fill out this paperwork. Otherwise, I'm sure there will be a paper trail yeah, through no, police officers something. and such. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Tablecloths were originally meant to be used as towels, which dinner guests would wipe their hands and faces on after eating. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? What is the opposite of cross-eyed? Have you ever heard this phrase? Wall-eyed. Oh. Yeah, that's the opposite of cross-eyed. There you go. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drink drinkblitzenergy.com promo code radio 20 that's drinkblitzenergy.com time right now for the mint mobile question of the day yay Yay! it's brought to you by mintervention.com here's your question heidi in a survey where women were asked what item they wish their partner didn't own this came in at number one crocs no (laughs) (laughs) it wasn't a question for you heidi (laughs) it was for other women the number one answer by the way was golf clubs yeah, oh. golf clubs. Uh, it does not tell me if Crocs made the list, but <laughs> Heidi said that very quickly, so it's certainly on her list. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com, a Polish construction company uh, by the name of Budamex uh, and refiner Lotos have created a floral scented asphalt. Why? According to the companies, it's not to improve conditions for people living in larger cities without ready access to nature. It's not for the sensory enjoyment of commuters who have to spend hours fighting traffic every day. It is to improve the working conditions for the people building the roads. Oh, that's nice. The new butamin, I don't know how you say it. Anyway, it contains a mixture of natural and synthetic essential oils, most of which neutralize the typical smell of asphalt, while the remaining ones add more of a pleasant scent. A foreman was quoted by the company as saying that at times he can detect the scent of flowers, which makes working much more pleasant, end quote. That's pretty so, great. That really is. Uh, that is probably a much better smell than regular asphalt. I would assume, yes. So, all right. Some weird news, though. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for The List. Brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Simple life hacks that will make your life easier. Remember I did some of these a while ago? Yes. I've got a big, long list of them, so I'm going to do a few more today. Uh, is your butter rock hard from the fridge, but you're too hungry to wait? Just use a cheese grater to grate the butter into shredded pieces. The butter will soften considerably faster. Oh, that's a good idea. That's cool. Yeah. When you want to enjoy a bottle of cold beer, but you don't have the time or the patience to wait, wrap your beer bottle in a couple of wet paper towels and put them in the freezer for 8 to 15 minutes. Okay. Do not forget them in there. I'm just telling you that maybe from experience. Another on the list here. Want fresh meat at McDonald's or Wendy's or any other burger chain? Ask for a burger with no seasoning, and they'll make you a fresh one. Mm. So if they say, can I get that with no seasoning? Then they, they start you fresh because they there already seasoned There you go, because they have to the make stuff. it right. Yeah. And uh, I've got time for one more. If you have an important date or job interview coming up, and you want to annoy pimples appearing out of nowhere, don't panic. Put toothpaste on it, and it will disappear overnight. So if you have a pimple that pops up and you put toothpaste on it, it goes right. away. I didn't know that. Hmm. 
Very bizarre. I've heard that you can do that. I've never tried it myself, but well, I have heard that it's before. It's interesting stuff. Simple life hacks that will make your life easier. It is The List, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at Radio Travel Group. Com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Jerry Seinfeld. He says, ah. there's no such thing as fun for the whole family, end quote. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You know what? I will disagree. You know what I think is fun for the entire family? What's that? Listening to comedy from Brian Regan. Okay, and there you Jerry go. And Jerry Seinfeld happens to love Brian Regan, There you the go. You're right about that. Our whole I will family, agree with you. Every time we're, if we're on a road trip or something, if we listen to that, it always makes the, everything better. So, mm-hmm. uh, or if you know, kids come over and we want to watch. Uh, Heidi has every one of his specials on DVD. She is in love with the man, by the way. I, so. I do love him. Yeah, she's she's already told me she's leaving me for Brian Regan someday. Eh, not anytime soon, <laughs> and you'll still be invited to Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's a headline, Heidi. Take a listen to this. Kids Lemonade Stand raises $3,500 for St. Jude. Holy cow. Yeah. Neighborhood Kids Lemonade Stand in That's Illinois. a lot of lemonade. Yeah, raised more than 3500 bucks for St. Jude's last weekend. A uh, dozen kids in the neighborhood participated in a fundraiser by selling lemonade and other treats all weekend. Suzanne Miller started the lemonade stand more than 10 years ago when her kids were small. She's been running in charity races for hospitals for, for the, this hospital for years. Her kids wanted to help support her goal. This is the first year we did it, we raised 220 bucks, And we thought that was amazing. That was Every amazing. year... It's gotten bigger and bigger. This year, Miller handed it off to the neighborhood kids, uh, Leslie, Rothen, and uh, Rothen's three children. So Leslie is the neighbor and her three kids. Lemonade stand for St. Jude's that our neighborhood uh, hosts each weekend raised $3,515. Wow. She said, I cannot find the words to tell you how I feel. It's absolutely incredible to celebrate this way, she wrote on a Facebook post. As parents, uh, it makes you really proud It was their idea, obviously. We wanted to support and encourage them to be successful as possible, but it really connected the dots for them to realize what they were doing and how that money would help save children, end quote. Wow. I think that is really, really cool. There's photos on here and some video if you want to see it. I've got a link to the story, all of that. In the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What does that instantly make you think of? Does that make you think of anything in our lives? It makes me think of our daughter. Our daughter did a lemonade stand one time, and it was for uh, an honor flight. Yes. And I had, it was really funny because the chief of police told me, he goes, hey, I stopped by your house and I got some lemonade. For he the said, V train. He said, your daughter's little sign, lemonade for the V trains. <laughs> and I was like, what? She spelled veterans wrong. So, goes, so oh. cute. Goes, I, had, I had to stop. I was like, wow, I should misspell things. Will that help? <laughs> no? Doesn't work for adults, apparently. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show.